Welcome guys, it's Andy here from D6 Evolution along with Lewis and today we are talking about, well it's a bit of a change for our regular tactics, we're speculating on what's going to be in the uh, in the next FAQ, FAQ yeah. yeah. So it's September um, now, uh, which means that supposedly uh, <laughs> Games Workshop are going to release an FAQ, although last but, one was but yeah, If it's right? anything like the March <laughs> FAQ. Is <laughs> it April? Or it April, start of May, or May yeah. yeah. Um, but no, we are expecting it soon, um, so it'd be interesting to discuss a little bit about what's going on in the meta at the moment, what potentially could happen in terms of big yeah. changes and how that would affect the armies that people are playing. Yeah. So, I think I think it's always fun. What do you think's on the nerf list? Um, yeah, so well, from the nerf list, you've got to look at what's doing really well at the moment. Obviously, Knights are absolutely yeah. storming it, um, doing really, really well. But equally well, like Games Workshop, they don't look at what's doing well on the top tables necessarily mm. they look what's doing well on the middle tables mm. what's unfun to play for their regular customers rather yeah. than uh, us sort of try hard sort well of. knights are really an awkward one for that because knights are doing well on the top tables in all the in all mm. the big meta bus of this um, they're doing really well on all the mid tables because they're fairly easy to play yeah um, but the problem that they've got is that normally if they listen to the majority uh, you know, they've got the majority is actually the people playing the knights. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. they're really enjoying playing with their big toys again, and they're having them really fun. Um, and if they start nerfing them, then you know they're going to have a bit of a backlash from that. So it'll be yeah. interesting to see what they do with knights. Um, um, I, I think particularly ones like the knight Castellans mm -hmm. probably going to. I've heard that may well go up in some points. Yeah, I can see that happening. Totally. There's, there's a lot of rumours flying around, yeah. isn't there? You know, you've got to keep it all in a bit of perspective, really. Yeah. But I um, think particularly the knight Castellan, particularly with the guard and so forth, which yeah. we'll get back to in a minute. But well, actually, I think that's a good point to touch on now because I think one of the biggest things that everyone's expecting to see in the, in the other upcoming FAQ is a, a way to deal with soup yeah. um, and, and the things that soup does. So at the moment, um, so some of the biggest issues you have with soup is the ease of which you can uh, ally in battalions and brigades um, and get the CP farming going that makes yeah. those big units do well. Because a lot, lot of these units are balanced in their own codex, but when you yeah. start adding in all the allies and all the other things, that That's actually they become well. unbalanced. Yeah. So Castellan having three command points to rotate his iron shield. Yeah. Maybe they do that once a game in their own codex. Yeah, it's like half their CP normally. If yeah, yeah. Just but, but all of a sudden they're doing they're doing it every single turn, yeah. and it's getting back up. It's starting exactly. to shoot again, and all these other sort of things. You yeah. know, it's uh, uh, that's that's, it's that's basically that's unlimited CP them. makes some things a lot more powerful than they need to be. So yeah. it may be that maybe it goes up in points a little bit, but it actually it may be that the thing which is making it so powerful ends up changing. I think they'll probably make the mistake they made before where they'll put it up in points and change something else that's quite integral to it and all of a sudden people will be taking them again. Mm. So it'll be, it'll be, it'll like, be like a commissar? Yeah. Well, what on earth were they? Yeah, the guys yeah. in the jackets, right, with the hats. Yeah. <laughs> so they'll, they'll, they're their company commanders now as well, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> they, they'll, they'll hit it on multiple fronts. I, I, I think that's right to do, um, but I think they'll uh, probably get yeah, the heavy handed yeah, with it. I think everything in moderation is the way forward. Yeah, absolutely. But what, what changes do you think you're going to see to soup? Um, well, there's lots of ways that I've heard people talking about that can be yeah. dealt with. Um, to be honest, some of the obvious ones is, to, is revolving around a primary detachment. So if you make uh, one unit your primary detachment, then perhaps you can't use, for example, stratagems, warlord traits, relics, etc. from another uh, detachment. Yeah. Um, that would be a huge hit. I think that's probably oh, that, that, too that'd be, much. That'd be like a game-changing the whole... Yeah. But they've done that before. I mean, they did that with a deep strike just mm. recently, you know, in the last turn. I mean, I that, that's, a, that's a little change, but to actually completely change how you make up make well, up your army. What that's... they'll say is that your warlord, the, the detachment that your warlord is from, it yeah. becomes your primary detachment, and that you can use the warlock rel relics and stratagems from that detachment. Um, you can't then, if you ally in another detachment, you can't use their stratagems. You can still have the units, yeah. uh, but you can't use their stratagems. I mean, so that could be something. It, it'll be something. I mean, I, th I think it's a little bit of a shame because part of 40k is the really cool combos you can come up with from allying things. In. That's how we see it. I totally get the other side. <laughs> but for me, it is it is really cool, actually, that yeah. that you can do that. You can come up with these nice little, particularly with a chaos list, you can yeah. come up with things where there's like neat little interactions between different units. Yeah, sure, sure. And well, yeah, I'll do the same. Yeah. Yeah, Eldar, exactly. I, I mean, like disintegrator cannons are totally, absolutely brilliant at the moment and really top in the meta. Really, against uh, tanks and stuff, where they're only good if you've got Doom on them. So then you need yeah. a, a fast and you need to be casting Doom. Yeah. So I mean, that's a pretty heavy-handed way to deal with it. Another way that I've heard to deal with it is um, perhaps that those don't generate uh, CP. Yeah. So like your your Imperial Guard commander, instead of regenerating it when my custodies want a swooping dive. Yeah. No, it's only when the custod when the Imperial Guard use stratagems. What, did they have any stratagems? <laughs> no, they, they've got, I think they've got something about plus one save and the duck and cover or yeah, something. Yeah, nothing. God knows, I've never tried to save my three units <laughs> of ten guys. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh no, I've seen some of them useful. The 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 track the tank one where you can uh, get like eight attacks or something. They hit on two. Yeah, how many big tanks? <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, guys, I, I think that's um, and certainly there'll be no double dipping like a Blood Angels and a Imperial Guard characters both trying to regenerate. Yeah, so the CP regen is a big way, and I think they need to. Hit <laughs> I think that's. Uh, I think that's almost nice. certainly that's going to get hit. It's got to be because the problem is that there's not enough armies that have it in the first place. Um, yeah. So you can't then have two on one army. It's just unfair. So the easiest way is just there's a, like they did with um, the mortal with the um, like a disgusting and resilient role. They said uh, anything that gives you that sort of five up feel no pain, yeah. or six up feel no pain. You can only choose once, whereas there was ways to stack two or three ways on a model. Yeah. So they did that very simple, clean change, and it and it sorts mm. their eye out. And right now they could just say only one way of regenerating CP, and yeah. it would be the same thing, which kind of makes me feel like it's just not bringing back some universal rules again <laughs> <laughs> to do with that. And Deep Strike would make it a little bit more simple to understand. Um, but the mm. other thing as well is is they, they could just mean that your those uh, auxiliary detachments that aren't from your primary faction. Uh, either don't generate a CP for you, so yeah. if you take a brigade, it doesn't give you you know your X number of CPs, um, or that they cost some, you know, or yeah. it's a little bit discount there. So there's ways there for them to do a little bit more of a light touch. So I think we'll see something like that. So um, it's more likely. Yeah. What about the beta rules? What, what's your thoughts on that? Because we've been we've been working with a yeah. set of beta rules, particularly deep strike, yeah. deep strike and reserves and so forth. And I I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm totally honest. I'm really on the fence about the the beta rules for deep strike. Um, I can totally see why it was needed, and when I play lists that would be destroyed by it, <laughs> I'm like, I'm glad that it's there. Yeah, and when yeah. I play lists that want to abuse it, I'm like, ah, oh, this list just sucks about it. Like close combat lists, you know, like your blood letter list that I was playing before, you know, 30, 60 blood letters, you just, you just can't bring them into see, turn two. My, my thoughts on this is that it's, it's not really changed the fact that some things can assault from deep strike turn one. It's just mm. different things are doing it now. So yeah. instead of a blood letter bomb, it's you know some stupid blood angels captain or, or yeah. something else like that. Well you, you know, just so. it, it buffs up it buffs up anything that can start on the board and get out there. So but you know there's so many things so you can, can do that. There's so many different things that actually mm. you, you're just changing the different units as you're doing it. You're not actually the thing's not actually gone away. Yeah. I, I don't think they'll change it. I think they will. You reckon they will? So, well, that's where we disagree. Guys, so you've got I to comment below. Like, I, I genuinely think it's going to go back to how it was before because I, I don't know. think gun lines are fun. I, I totally understand that, but I think if they were doing that, that would be such a big backtrack for them. And, and the, no, you know, it's a beta rule. I mean, they can say, hey, guys, it's a beta rule. We yeah. never said it was a final rule. The, I, I, think the, I think the rule of three will definitely stay. Yeah, no, 100%. Um, yeah. But I don't, I don't think we'll see such a strict enforcement of the deep strike rules. I reckon they'll let it run a little bit longer because I reckon they, they need there's they're gonna be making massive changes to the game. I don't doubt that this FAQ is gonna be big and there's gonna be huge changes they're gonna change the way that we play. Um, and I think that with all that going on, they don't need to then bring another variable into the mix. I think they'll see how that plays out and then ultimately they'll get to a rule set that they'll decide whether they bring it back in or not. I yeah. think I think I think it's here to stay. Yeah. Uh, rightly or wrongly, I think that's the decision they'll make. Yeah. For the record, I think he's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll live to see. <laughs> but I think the the rule of three is just gonna is definitely gonna stay. Yeah, um, it just needs a little bit of tweaking. Yeah, you know, people who run like seven or eight demon princes or however many you're allowed to run or a whole bunch oh, of demon princes or like, no, not it's, great. It's, it's, so it, no, no, I, do I don't. It. <laughs> I don't think it's great. It yeah. wasn't great before when you were definitely allowed to do it, and now yeah. they've got around it, but it's still not that good. But yeah. um. Yeah. I think they'll be wanting to stamp that sort of stuff out because it's not in the spirit of the yeah. rule, so I think they'll tighten that rule up slightly. Yeah, I can see uh, that. I don't know exactly how they'll do it, but they may mm. do it with keywords rather than um, data sheets as such. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, th I think there'll be a slightly more elegant solution to what they've proposed already. Yeah, we can come up with in five minutes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it will revolve around keywords, so like Lehman Russ would be a keyword yeah. rather than a Lehman Russ tank commander, Lehman Russ normal rank, yeah. uh, Lehman Russ forge world, whatever. But <laughs> yeah, no, I, I see that. I mean, again, I, I just don't think they'll, they'll focus on those things. I think they're, they're going to come out, because you're, you're looking at these things like, like with what we've got ahead of us right now yeah. and kind of trying to make decisions I think they're just going to come in with some left field thing that we're not expecting because apparently a thousand people really care about it and they're very vocal on the internet and I think it will be something um, that completely changes the way that we play um, you know around around the deployments or objective placing or something like that I think there'll be some significant changes to the game um, that we're, we're, that we're not expecting and then they'll be focused on those and they won't really care about the world at that point yeah, but we can't talk about that can we because we have no idea what no, it, it is, is. No, it is. that would and make a terrible video <laughs> <laughs> congratulations <laughs> so basically guys we have no yeah. idea because Lewis doesn't care anything <laughs> nothing that I'm saying <laughs> 
Uh, no, I'm very excited. And, and the thing is, when, whenever these changes come back, a, a big piece of advice is just go pick up the book and look for all your codexes again, all the armies that you used to play and you find out a favour, and yeah. just see how all of a sudden you know, they could be good again. Um, so, so, actually, I think some of the biggest changes weren't in the in the beta rules they were actually in when you go back and you look through the, all the, rule book all the yeah. FAQs that's yeah. where all the fun little changes yeah and they're like, huge changes that people just completely gloss over they're completely changes the way yeah. you play I mean the tactics videos that you guys do are absolutely fantastic yeah. um, and if you watch through those a lot of those are literally one line rules in FAQs yeah just in some <laughs> obscure little place and exactly. it completely changes yeah well you think I mean way. the most obvious one in my mind is the, is the way the deep strike work yeah. is that you know if that you're nine inches away but if you read that rule properly you know you, if you're playing with something fly for example you could be nine inches tall and you'd be nine inches away from the model but you yeah. only have to go two inches to get down well that completely changes where you're rolling for a two up or a nine up and that, <laughs> that makes a huge difference maybe, maybe they'll clarify that but yeah. I mean it's certainly it's how it's written wasn't it yeah so, um yeah, there's loads of fun little ones like that. Yeah, um, wobbly model, model syndrome changed a lot as well. But they just said no. No they? wobbly model, <laughs> despite the fact it's in the rule book, and then they said actually we're not happy with that. And then obviously that means that the top floor of ruins is or um, guys standing on kind of you know a one inch ruin and you can't yeah. you can't assault them. Yeah, <laughs> but honestly, that when I when I said earlier, like I think it will be a weird change that we're not expecting. Yeah. That's the kind of thing. No one was gonna no one was going to FAQ and and I reckon they're gonna change the top. So they're gonna, floor yeah, of yeah they're ruins, gonna make. So uh, you can't go up there. Yeah, he's gonna make. No one uh, expected that. <laughs> a squad of tactical marines immune to uh, yeah to close combat. <laughs> yeah, and and then they did it, and then it changed. Uh, well, it did change a lot for a little while, but um, you know, I think now people are kind of got used to it, and it's not such yeah. a big deal anymore. Um, but yeah, no, it's, uh, it will be something like that, I'm sure. Yeah. So what units apart from the Castellan we're talking about? Maybe <laughs> maybe go up in points. I think custodies are going to get hit. Yeah, I think they could. I, I don't think it'll be. It's, 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 I think it'll be small points increase on the it's, it's strange they call it an FAQ and it's only meant to be points changes and their chapter approved but I wonder whether they're going to break before then what do points changes in the FAQ yeah yeah because yeah. it's great last, really time, last time they, did, they, they did a chapter approved <laughs> and then they did an FAQ of the chapter approved but they changed yeah. all the points again I know Yeah. I, I mean honestly I, I, I wouldn't put it past them they're very good right. at breaking what they say they're going to do <laughs> but hey I'm happy to do they're that like, no 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 actually it wasn't it wasn't the uh uh, September FAQ because we released it in November so yeah. you can do whatever well that's when chapters approved you that is November no, no, it's uh, December I think it's chapter approved in December yeah, so, start yeah. December usually. they ain't got long to get it out then <laughs> <laughs> they <laughs> miss it by a bit of a deadline it's weird but how you actually so chapter approved is probably already printed that's the thing yeah whereas oh. the FAQs are tweaked right oh, until just it's like got a few days yeah but they're, they're, they're tweaked until like a couple of days before they're actually taken out so actually yeah. the more recent changes are probably going to be in this FAQ rather than the chapter approved that's an interesting point yeah yeah, yeah. Um, which is then how does that interact with when they then release chapter approved it's just weird I don't know I don't know what their plan is <laughs> I don't think they know either yeah yeah. Um, I, I think to be honest sort of... I, I think I think these custodians jet bikes are going to go up a few points yeah I can see I can I, see that honestly I don't think they're that good mm. and we've been discussing this they're good against some things they're bad mm. against a lot of things and mm. actually top tier like Unari lists and mm. Tau and God, like, there's, stuff that can there's, there's a lot of stuff we can just yeah. kill them and actually in a competitive environment they're fine but actually when you go back to what does a normal person play in like the games workshop and all of a sudden yeah they are yeah, they just, they're just too overbearing yeah, yeah. And, and to be fair like um uh, that's an interesting thing about like shining spheres for example which are quite top tier in the metro oh, i think they're phenomenal same with these harlequin bikes they're, yeah they're absolutely crazy you need mm. but yeah doom you put jinx on there on a unit but these, hey, are, no, no, these, are, well, every... yeah, these are well really well pointed i think though um I mean, I think yeah no they're, they're, they're pointed, expensive but... yeah Things like shining spears as well. Absolutely. The shining spears are quite cheap. So the shining spears are like I can't remember how much it is, oh. but it's only about ten or twenty points more yeah. for a unit three over a unit three regular jet, jet bikes. And if no, no one's playing the jet bikes, they're because, phenomenally yeah. good. Four compatible um, save. But yeah. you need a you need to be a good player to make use of that. Yeah, well that's Eldar though. To be fair, mm. I mean Eldar. So that's why I think maybe like Imperium gets a little bit more of a a nerf than maybe the Eldar ones do mm. because not so many people play them it's not seen as such a abusive unit because mm. it, it's at the top tables and you know what not so many people bitch about things on the top tables oh, they definitely yeah. still do they all watch it on the internet and bitch about it thinking yeah. that it's uh, you know, <laughs> and they've never even played those lists yeah. like, I can't believe the Shining Spears won again and it's like well play Shining Spears play as Shining Spears and tell me if you can play them well because they are yeah. hard to play well yeah they really they're, they're absolutely devastating but if you play those badly yeah. they just die yeah exactly quickly, they're, they're the one who's um, it's like, like playing like a sniper in an FPS isn't it it's like yeah. when you play a sniper really well you just absolutely destroy people but you know 
know, give a, a noob <laughs> it's like rough they don't know what they're doing yeah um, other things Blood Angel Captains Mephiston that sort of thing yeah I think that will uh, have, those changes will have a hit from the CP changes maybe. yeah I think hopefully they just leave it at the CP change because actually yeah. you know what if you want to send a slam captain in to take out a knight yeah. spend nine command points well maybe you should do it I'll tell yeah, that night, you know, nine command points yeah, and they're not over point because they're the same roughly the same points because they are in you know regular and you've used up your entire command points exactly if you, if you haven't got this there is CP so farm. much in the game right now that is is linked to cp and yeah. that's why the cp farm farms are breaking them and that's why they're super breaking them with the ability to get battalions mm. and brigades in uh, it's, it's a weird thing so we started to move away uh, in the uk back to what they do in america which is um allowing double battalions mm. but for the beginning of the index all the tournaments i played at certainly you know across all the different places yeah. they wouldn't let you repeat a detachment well, that, i think now that that's more for spam because they had the unit they had the rule of didn't have the rule of three yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, it was but then the, the outcome of that was mean that your cp was massively reduced yeah and then you're also playing obviously with reduced cp anyway but now it's like you know, you you you'll play a super list that'll come up with like 15, 17, 18 come and, and, and also be rolling and then up with twenty by the second turn. And so yeah, that's all fine if you're playing guard and they've got only one CP strategy. So when you start playing um, on to uh, knights and they're playing with you know three CP stratagems that just yeah. burst them out, then it doesn't work, does it? Yeah. No. So, I mean, that's our thoughts on the uh, on what's going to come up in the FAQ. Let us know what your thoughts. Of course, we could be completely wrong. <laughs> Um, personally I think Lewis is going to be completely wrong I think I'm right on the money but we'll see in a few weeks or maybe a few months we'll have a reaction what happening. we can yeah. do a reaction video yeah, yeah absolutely <laughs> if you just go oh my god Andy was right why didn't I listen to him <laughs> I don't think so I think we'll be on one yeah. <laughs> alright mate well it's good to good talk times. to you yeah and uh, yeah I'll catch up with you later right take care guys bye